Nigeria has diverse ethnic groups with diverse cultures. Almost everyone has unique cultural dressings and traditional attires. In this video, we'll look at the 10 most popular Nigerian traditional attires. Welcome to InfoBuster's YouTube channel where we keep you up to date with the latest news, trends and info in Nigeria and Africa. If you're new to this channel, do consider to subscribe so that you don't miss any gist. Now let's get straight into business. 10 Popular Nigerian Traditional Attires 1. Agbada As a renowned Yoruba and Hausa attire, Agbada is often embroidered and worn on important religious and ceremonial events such as the two Islamic Eid festivals, weddings, funerals or to attend Friday prayer at the mosque. Aside from Nigeria, many countries in West Africa have adopted it as their formal dress. Agbada is made up of three items of clothing, a pair of tie-up pants that shortens towards the ankles, a long-sleeved shirt and a broad open-stitched sleeveless gown worn over them. Agbada is for males and there is a female version of the attire. At number 2, we have Gili, another Yoruba attire. Literally, a Gili is a head tie except it's decorated with specific patterns and tied in unique styles. Although Gili can be worn on a daily basis, the ceremonial ones are reserved for weddings, special occasions and religious functions. It's made with stiffer fabric than normal clothes. The Gili usually covers a woman's whole hair as as well as her ears when she wears it. Her face and earrings on the bottom portion of her earlobes are the only parts of her body that are visible. The gele is worn with traditional local clothing. 3. Isiagu an Igbo man's dressing isn't complete without the Isiagu. The Isiagu, also known as chieftaincy, is a pullover shirt. It's generally reserved for exceptional occasions, such as weddings. Long or short-sleeved shirts are available. On most Isiagu shirts, there is a chain with gold buttons. On the front, there is generally a breast pocket. The Isiagu was traditionally presented to a man when he was given a chieftaincy title. A red fez hat or an Igbo loop hat cap is frequently worn with the shirt. Isiagu literally means head of a leopard. 4. Danshiki Remember Whiskey's Show Me The Money video? Starboy was rocking Danshiki. In the early 2010s, Danshiki was a trend not just in Nigeria but worldwide. Danshiki suits come in a variety of styles. A tie-length shirt is included in the classic Danshiki outfit. Purists like the short-sleeved, classic design. A shirt that is knee-length or longer is included in a long Danshiki outfit. Finally, the lace Danshiki suit comes with a lace shirt. A traditional male Danshiki with a West the western skirt is a combination of the danshiki and kaftan worn by women. 5. He built a bang. Here, we head to the South South Epic people. Have you seen a traditional epic dancer performing the Abang dance? Well, you must have seen the Ibiot Abang on a head. The headpiece is unique and yet simple. What about the dance? The term Abang means pot and it represents fertility. The dance originated from the worship of the Ndem, the water goddess. It is also a tribute and celebration of respect and gratitude to the earth goddess Abasi Isong, who is responsible for abundant resources and fertile land for growing crops. 6. Buba Simply put, Buba is the top or blouse Nigerian women wear with wrappers regularly. However, the term Buba is exclusive to Yoruba tops and blouses. Normally, the Buba is purchased in a full ensemble that includes the wrappers. Hence, you get Iro and Buba. In addition to the Iro and Buba, we also have the Gele, which was mentioned earlier. These three clothing items make up a complete traditional attire for a Nigerian Yoruba woman. There is also a scarf placed on the shoulder. 7. Kaftan A kaftan is a type of robe or tunic that has been worn for thousands of years in a variety of civilizations across the world. It is of Asian origin. Hence, even though kaftan is common in Nigerian traditional dressings, we don't own it. Kaftan also passes as a formal wear. The regular Nigerian kaftan is an ankle-length garment that is paired with tobay, which are drawstring pants. It is common in other parts of West Africa and is usually made of cotton brocade, lace or synthetic fabrics. A kaftan suit is made up of a kaftan and matching pants. A kufi cap is worn with a kaftan suit. 8. Lace 
Lace is the up and down cloth you see every day. The difference from a lace and any other matching outfit out there is the material. Lace material always feels waterproof when you touch it. Both men and women in Nigeria wear lace but it's common with the women. Lace is very fashionable as it usually features varying patterns and designs. Furthermore, since the lace is basically a material, it can be made into any type of design. It is a very versatile traditional attire and it's what most Ashwebi ladies wear in traditional and white weddings. 9. Here's a second epic attire, the Onyonyo. When you see an epic bride, you easily get wowed by a long and colorful dress. That's the Onyonyo. The gown is flowing and also rubbing the ground as the brides walk. In some cases, there's a maid to hold the back of the dress. The Onyonyo can be made with various styles and designs. Also, it can come in different colors. In old times, the Onyonyo was worn by queens. It's worn by almost every modern epic bride for a traditional marriage today. Day. 10. Eto Okuku This is an Edo traditional attire. Eto Okuku, which literally means hairstyle in the shape of a bun, is one of the Edo wedding dresses. The bride's hair is styled into a high bun, which is usually done with black gel. After that, coral beads are stitched into a hair or extension to make a crown. Many brides choose pre-made wigs that include the hair and crown. And there you have it, the 10 popular Nigerian traditional attires. We hope you love this video. To get other latest info, hit the subscribe button and you will be glad you did. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.